Commissioner in charge of communication from the Ministry of ICT and National Guidance, Moses Watasa, has highlighted the ongoing progress of the 19th Non-Aligned Movement, emphasizing Uganda's appeal for investment in areas such as ICT, manufacturing, commercial agriculture, and services. Uh, government is investing a lot in ICT connectivity, which means uh, you can invest in any part of Uganda and you are connected to the internet, whether in the east or west. Through our ministry, uh, government is building more ICT infrastructure cables. Eh? Uh, the other thing is that government is opening up industrial parks in different parts of the country. In these industrial park, parks, you have access to cheaper electricity, which is also provided by, by uh, government. You have uh, access to land which, which government gives free of charge if you satisfy a criteria but Uganda also has a, a young population so we have labor and, and government is increasing the skilling these people Moses Watasa outlined Uganda's competitive advantages, including its stable political environment, extensive infrastructure development, and strategic central location in Africa. We know Uganda is one of the most peaceful countries in the world. Uh, Uganda is peaceful corner to corner, so peaceful that we are even exporting peace to some countries like Congo, Somalia, and elsewhere. So people can invest here knowing that he, uh, there's no trouble, it's a peaceful country, it's a stable country. Uh, he outlined government's efforts to ensure stable exchange rates, interest rates and inflation below 4% creating an environment conducive to investment, calling for fair and hospitable treatment of visitors, reminding local businesses not to overprice goods and services. Uganda is ripe for investment because Uganda, for example, has this fine weather. Uganda weather averages between 24 and 30 degrees throughout the year. There is hardly another country like that on earth. We so we, we are saying Uganda is a good place to invest, but Uganda is also a good country to do business with. We have uh, organic food. Our fruits are some of the best in the world. They are organic. They don't have chemicals in them. We have fish, we have uh, abundant water resources. Uh, lake Victoria is the world's uh, largest freshwater body lake. Source of the Nile. The Nile is the longest river in the world. So in terms of uh, um, competitive advantage, Uganda is way ahead of um, other countries. Fertile soils, for those who want to go into uh, commercial farming, eh? African community. There's also the Comesa, the common market for East and Central Africa. But now, we also have the Africa continental free trade area. So you have access to markets across the whole of Africa. Central location means now you can connect from Uganda to any corner of Africa by air in under five hours, whether it is Cape Town, whether it is Accra, whether it is... Addressing international media. Moses invited them to be objective and to shed light on Uganda's unique culture, diverse heritage, and progress in achieving NAM objectives. He emphasized Uganda's role as the host country in facilitating discussions, ensuring peace, security, and connectivity for delegates. As the conference unfolds, Uganda aims to solidify its position as an attractive destination for investment and tourism, leveraging the NAM platform to foster international collaboration and economic growth. Sudat Kaye and Brian Biaruhanga, UBC News.